tour and give us an idea of what people are dealing with here this morning. 16 inches of flooding in this area just off of Rose Street in Val Rico, but I want you to take a look at this Bay Care bus. Look at how high the water has since risen in the days after Hurricane Milton blew offshore. We're about a mile away from the water here, and still, this is what the result is as those creeks and rivers and streams continue to rise. The water nearly as high as some of these mailboxes and street signs. We've seen people who are still here, and that's the problem. The attorney general, the sheriff from uh, Hillsborough County, telling us, stay out of this area. Don't come by. Don't walk in this water. The attorney general telling me personally when I spoke with her just moments ago that this area could still have electrified waters. There are power lines down with trees down as well. Alligators and snakes feasibly roaming around in this water. And when you take a look, these are streets. This is not a river. Off in the distance, you can see that blue truck flooded out. Again, as I mentioned, the water nearly as high as these mailboxes. Now, I also just did speak with the sheriff, uh, Chad Cronister, uh, who told me that the fuel supply here in Hillsborough County is coming in slowly but surely. The thing is, the Port of Tampa is turning things back on a little bit slowly, than, a little bit slower perhaps than they would have liked. Uh, but they're going to have police department escorts coming into Hillsborough County and beyond to make sure that people who are in need of fuel